Thank you very much. Wow, what a nice theater this is. <laughs> feel a little underdressed right now, actually. Uh, I never know what to do. I never know what to wear. That's my big thing. I was going to wear a tie tonight. But uh, I just don't look good in a tie, you know? I think it's because I have a really big, round head. <laughs> you know? And if you got the big, round balloon melon, you just shouldn't wear a tie. It creates some kind of illusion. People always come up to me, Whoa, buddy, that is way too tight. <laughs> Nothing I can do. I know, it's just too big, my head. My head is 27 inches around. Huh? That's too big, isn't it? For a human skull, 27 inches? In fact, you know your head's too big if you've ever felt the need to measure it, I think, actually. <laughs> but anyway, it's good to be here, man. Montreal is a big city. Uh, I grew up in a, in a very small farming uh, community in Saskatchewan. And uh, I like big cities, but I wouldn't want to be a cop in a big city. You know, I think the police have it way easier in a small town, especially when it comes to investigating crimes. You know, in a big city, crime can go unsolved for like 20 or 30 years. In a small town, the police are there. Can you describe the man who robbed you? Yeah, he was Dwayne. <laughs> go get him. Everybody knows everybody in a small town. The police are like, well, should we go down to Dwayne's work and pick him up? <laughs> no, today's Tuesday. He's at home with the kids. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Every crime solved in about 11 minutes in a small town. It's kind of nice. Uh, every big city has homeless people, of course. Uh, right in Montreal, right here, you have there's homeless people in Montreal. Mind you, during the Just for Laughs comedy festival, it's kind of hard to tell who's a homeless person and who's an international street performer, you know? <laughs> They're very similar in a lot of ways. They both do something kind of weird and then ask you for money. You don't know who's who, you know? I mean, normally, if I see a guy wearing a cornflakes box for a hat, I kind of assume he's down on his luck, but here, he might be the highest paid entertainer in Sweden. You don't know. <laughs> who's who? It's hard to decide who to watch, too. The, the street performer or the homeless guy. I mean, they're both very entertaining in a way, you know? Like on one corner, you got a guy, he's, he's juggling flaming chainsaws, but on this corner, there's like a naked guy having a fist fight with a shopping cart. <laughs> but it is good to be here in Montreal. I love coming to Montreal. Uh, I think you guys should change the, the slogan on your license plates from Je me souviens to Smoker's Paradise. Man, is there? Unbelievable. I've never seen a place with this kind of tobacco consumption. It's unbelievable. Everybody I see, 13, 16 packs a day, just wah, 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 wah. It's just a huge, tumorous cloud hanging over the province. Wah. There's no non smoking section in all of Quebec. You ask for a non smoking section, they just point to Ontario. Allez, toi! Oh, man, I am having fun. I'll tell you, I, f I found a cheap way to have fun in Montreal. This is what I do. I walk into any government building, because I always have a sign up that says, like, we would be happy to serve you in either English or French. And I always ask to be served in French, and then I stand there going, what? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> and then they start up in English, and I go, no, 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 the French, please. <laughs> huh? You can do that for hours. It's unbelievable. And it's my right as a Canadian citizen to do that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's your right to get served in either language. It doesn't say anywhere in the law book, you have to understand what's being said. That's not, <laughs> it's not in there. I'm living in Vancouver now. Here's what I do. If a cop pulls me over, I just sit in my car, demand to be served in French. Sit there, no, you parlez-vous to me in French there, buddy boy. Oh, I pay my taxes. I'd like to hear a little French, s'il vous plaît. Well, well, then I'm not listening to you. 
<laughs> All right, I haven't tried that myself, but give it a whirl. Let me know how it goes over. I'm... <laughs> Great time, you and the cop laughing. Oh, they <laughs> have a tremendous sense of humor, the police. <laughs> cop just taking that long metal flashlight to your skull. Qu'est-ce que la pong, eh, funny boy? <laughs> Je m'appelle the guy who's gonna kick your ass. That's my... <laughs> Thanks a lot, it's always great to come back. I like pointed funny. My own uh, American government has outlawed the sale of candles with lead wicks because the fumes can be toxic to your lungs. Meanwhile, they have no problem with the sale of guns designed to shoot lead directly through your lungs. I want to be able to go to a costume party dressed as Wolverine and not black Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs>